Uh, uh, we're, uh, Mark and I are partners at Skid Row and Zamero. Uh, we were founded a long time ago in Chicago in, in, uh, in 1936, but uh, we're somewhat unique in that we're architects and engineers together. Uh, Skidmore was a design architect, Owings was a managing architect, and Merrill was an engineer. And, and that's one of the things that's very unique about us as an international practice, is that we're a close collaboration of, of architects, engineers, urban planners, interior designers, uh, sustainability engineers, uh, working together to create uh, architecture. I'm going to let Bill describe the engineering for the Burj because he is the structural engineer on that tower. And it is still the tallest in the world. We're very proud of, of, the, of the building. But Bill, why don't you okay. say a few things about it? Well, <clears throat> part of it, um, when we started the design, the client wanted the world's tallest building, which needed, meant it needed to be taller than Taipei 101. So we made it 518 meters tall. But over time, the client wanted higher and higher. And, and as we studied the problem, we decided we found we could go higher and higher. We ended up growing, during the design, the building grew by 310 meters. That's, that's about the height of the Eiffel Tower. And, and in the process of that, we had to invent a new structural system to make it possible. And, and in the end, we, we gave it a name. We call it the buttress core. There's a central core that goes up. It keeps the building from twisting, but it's too slender to go so it's so high. So we buttress it with the wings of the building and, and using uh, conventional systems arranged in an unconventional way, we were able to go to, uh, make the, the tallest structure ever built. Well, first thing I'll say is that we believe that, that these buildings should be designed and built at all scales. So we, we believe that great architecture and engineering could, could, could start at very, very modest scales and then grow to these very, very tall structures. We think this, that cities like Mexico City, great cities of the world, need these types of structures for density. But we're very concerned, even as engineers, about how we plan these buildings and how we occupy these buildings because the neighborhood, the, the relationship of people and these buildings are the highest priority for, for us as, as designers. So it's a mix of great plan, great engineering, but we think the tall building is here to stay. And, and we think that for sure, we're gonna be seeing buildings that are even taller than the Burj. First of all, we think they're possible. And, and when they're designed well, they behave even better than shorter buildings. Um, we think that these buildings should have flexibility at times. So we have ideas in the exhibition that, that look at joints within buildings that can move when the demand is very, very high. So the idea is to, is to move like the body, um, dissipate energy through things like friction instead of bending of materials and damaging the structure to achieve these, these buildings of the future so that areas like Mexico City can incorporate great design, but also the idea of natural response to earthquakes. And, and we, we think that's very relevant to the tall building here in Mexico City. Well, you know, uh, SOM's architecture is generally about technology, expressing technology. Uh, when, when, uh, a few years ago, the the design partners got together and talked about what does our firm mean? What do we care about? We came up with three things. Simplicity, structural clarity, sustainability. And, and we want our, our architecture to reflect that. And, and if you look at this exhibition, it's all about th you have designs that are so integrated that, that it's not about form, it's not ma about making form, it's about making technology and systems. And in each of these buildings, you only see the structure but the architecture is still there. That, that the design is so, so integrated, has such integrity that you can pull the skin off and the architecture doesn't go away. It's not about forms, it's about, it's about buildings. Well, what's interesting about our practice is that we, uh, all the disciplines see the project at day one. 
It's, it's not like uh, some, uh, a group of architects are, are, are working on it for a long time and then someone, they ask an engineer to come over and say, please make it not fall over. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, and, and so when we get together on these, we have these charrettes and everybody can throw out ideas and not just about your discipline. Uh, an engineer can come out on landscape. Uh, you know, it's, it's like a free-for-all of ideas and then, and then we'll, we'll, do, we'll have many, many ideas and then we'll, we'll go fewer and fewer and we'll compare ideas and we'll, we'll mix ideas until we eventually come up with a design that, 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 uh, that works for our client and it works for the, the people of the, of the, who's going to be in the building, the people who are going to interface with the building and, and works, works for society. And the other piece of this is uh, research. So we're, we are completely dedicated to research, both internally and externally with other professionals and, and universities. So the first room as you come through the exhibition is all about ideas and research. And they're all happening before these buildings are conceived. Before these towers are conceived, we're looking at parts of buildings, we're looking at systems that could be for tall buildings or long span structures. So, we think that's really important to any practice, and we try to spend as much time as we can to, to do that before we have the project. Yeah. You, you know, one of the things is uh, a lot of architecture in the last few years has, I would say, a lot of buildings have silly hats on them. Uh, you know, just trying to make themselves look different. And so one of the things we, as technical people, think is uh, uh, have architecture run out of good ideas? Well, perhaps we can create new technologies, new ideas that will lead to new architecture that looks different because it's better. Or, or, or it, it's solving a problem in a different manner, uh, rather than just putting a silly hat on a building. So, so th this research that we do is ultimately trying to create new architecture.